I thought I'd just give you a, a quick demonstration of a short run up the line. We're just approaching Stonebridge, which is about uh, between a third and halfway up the line. Um, and once again on the uh, Orange Side of Couple RL1. Just uh, ticking over nicely in second gear. Just coming up to the first set of points in the middle loop. We've got one at both ends and uh, one in the middle of the yard as well. Uh, just a, bit, a little bit rough because the ground tends to move. Um, Oh, there we go, over a bump, we need some step plates in there because we've got two different size rails, uh, different poundages, so they're going to be different surfaces on top and also different heights. Um, yeah, just a, a, another little bit about this engine, it's, like I say, it's remarkably simple. Uh, you've, you've got two uh, throttle settings, you've got tick over or flat out, and uh, that's the, the throttle mechanism here. Pull it and turn it. Uh, we've got fuel filter assembly. Oh, come on, pick up, pick up the old girl. There we go. This is the air filter, rock cover. Uh, to aid cold starting, we've got a piece so you, you undo and put in your, your lighter tape like on a field marshal tractor. Uh, you've got the injector is in here. Obviously, that's the exhaust. You've got the water drain down there, and you've got one also down at the bottom there. Uh, I've got the fuel tank is at the back here, radiator's in the front, and you've got a fan in front of the radiator this end being driven directly off the crankshaft. I don't know if you have to see in there. That's all. Yep, there we go. And uh, an absolutely monstrous flywheel. It takes three people to pick up. Right, we're just passing under the uh, stone bridge now. Uh, passing old signal there. We've got a signal box of sorts there to control the mid loop and the signal in there. Um, but the, the bridge itself, it's about 300 years old, and as far as I'm aware, is a listed structure, so we can't really do anything to it. Um, yeah, we're just approaching, approaching the yard now. We've probably got another 200 metres to go from here. Uh, it goes around a slight bend. It's also slightly uphill all the way. And uh, as you can also see, we're in an uh, original railway cutting that did have a, a standard gauge up and down line in it at some point. Um, it ran into Bedford, because we're near Bedford now, uh, I'm not sure where it ran to from Bedford. I think it might have either been Kettering or Northampton, but I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Uh, just coming into view now, I don't know if you're about to see it on here because it's a mobile phone video, we've got the, uh, the signal box. Uh, it's got a uh, Westinghouse L35 power frame in it, uh, which is being refurbished at the moment, uh, so it's out of operation. But uh, that powers the entire top two thirds of the site and all the signalling and the point work. The points are mainly electric hydraulic with a few uh, electric wind out motors here and there. Uh, we've got quite a mishmash of signalling really. We've got the, uh, the old type, we've also got light types as well. Um, yeah, the, uh, the engine shed's just coming into view now at the workshop uh, with a couple of the other engines parked outside. We've got the 1951 motor rail simplex sat there, uh, not being run today because we've got no water in it. And behind it we've got the 1945 Hudson Hunslet with uh, McLaren Ricardo 28 horse twin cylinder diesel, uh, which is our absolute pride and joy. Um, she weighs just over four tonnes and is a pretty new, unique engine uh, in her wheel size because she's the only one, as far as I'm aware, in this country with those size wheels with the McLaren engine. But uh, I'll give you some more videos of them in a short while. Thanks for watching.